Sarach, Ecclesiasticus 33. There shall no evil happen unto him that fears Yahuwah, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. A wise man hates not the Torah, but he that is a hypocrite therein is as a ship in a storm. A man of understanding trusts in the Torah, and the Torah is faithful unto him, as an oracle. Prepare what to say, and so you shall be heard, and bind up instruction, and then make an answer. The heart of the foolish is like a cartwheel, and his thoughts are like a rolling axle tree. A stallion horse is as a mocking friend. He nighs under every one that sits upon him. Why does one day excel another, when as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun? By the knowledge of Yahweh, they were distinguished, and he altered seasons and feasts. Some of them has he made high days, and sanctified them, and some of them has he made ordinary days. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. In much knowledge Yahuwah has divided them, and made their ways diverse. Some of them has he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified, and set near himself. But some of them has he cursed, and brought low and turned out of their places, as the clay is in the potter's hand, to fashion it at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him, to render to them as like, rather, to render to him as likes him best. Good is set against evil, and life against death. So is the righteous against the sinner, and the sinner against the righteous. So, Look upon all the works of El Elyon, and there are two and two, one against another. I awakened up last of all as one that gathers after the grape gatherers. By the blessing of Yahuwah I profited, and tread my winepress like a gatherer of grapes. Consider that I labored not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning." Hear me, O ye great men of the people, and hearken with your ears, ye rulers of the assembly. Give not your son and woman, your brother and friend, power over you while you live, and give not your goods to another, lest it grieve you and you entreat for the same again. As long as you live and have breath in you, give not yourself over to any. For better it is that your children should seek you than that you should stand to their courtesy. In all your works, keep to yourself the preeminence. Leave not a stain in your honor. At the time when you shall end your days and finish your life, distribute your inheritance. Fodder, a wand, and burdens are for the ass, and bread, correction, and work for a servant. If you set your servant to labor, you shall find rest. But if you let him go idle, he shall seek liberty. A yoke and a collar do bow the neck. So are tortures and torments for an evil servant. Send him to labor that he be not idle, for idleness teaches much evil. Set him to work as is fit for him, if he be not obedient. Put on more heavy fetters, but be not excessive toward any, and without discretion do nothing. If you have a servant, let him be unto you as yourself, because you have bought him with a price. If you have a servant, entreat him as a brother, for you have need of him, as of your own soul. If you entreat him evil, and he run from you, which way will you go to seek him? 